Hi, welcome back to Explore Seattle. Today we are visiting Starbucks Reserve on Capitol Hill. I'm super excited and you are welcome to come. I swear we are in the middle of August right now. We are, this is summer. This is summer in Seattle. It's kind of gloomy and kind of chilly, in, especially in our summer clothes. But you know what? It's not sticky or humid and it actually feels pretty good. I'm headed east on Pike Street, walking away from downtown Seattle and headed towards Capitol Hill. Because Capitol Hill is where the first Starbucks Reserve and Roaster is. Capitol Hill is an incredibly vibrant neighborhood. There are a lot of hip restaurants and bars on Capitol Hill, and the nightlife there is extremely exciting. The reason why Starbucks Reserve is special is because it's unlike any of your local Starbucks. The first reserve opened just a few years ago, and it offers the ultimate coffee experience. In addition to the very cool Starbucks coffee shop vibe, the reserve also offers the most exquisite coffees from around the world. A lot of Seattle lights are coffee snobs. Sorry if I'm offending anyone, but we take our coffee very seriously. And the reserve gives us a place to exercise our snobbery at. The highway that we just crossed is Highway I-5 and it is a main highway in Seattle that goes from north to south. We've now just entered the Capitol Hill neighborhood. And here it is, Starbucks Reserve. It was about a 10 minute walk from the center of downtown Seattle, which wasn't so bad at all. Love these big floor to ceiling doors. They appear luxurious and modern. The first thing I noticed about Starbucks Reserve is how busy it is. And by the way, we this is a weekday. Of course, when you first enter the store, you will be greeted with all types of merchandise branded by Starbucks, especially very exotic coffees. If you are visiting, this is definitely a great place to pick up a few souvenirs. As you can see, all the furniture here in this store, as well as other Starbucks stores, they are all beautifully designed and they incorporate sustainable, uh, sustainable material into building their stores, which is why we love Starbucks, because you still get a neighborhood feel, but you're also, you know, everything's still very sleek and modern and just very inviting. By the way, there are 
three bars in this particular reserve store, and you will always be greeted by a friendly barista. They are super helpful. One recommendation, at least in my opinion, to the reserve is that it's a little confusing. There is a lot going on. There is retail. There is food. There is also the bar to the right, and yeah, it would be. Helpful to have a little bit of a line or some signs to show people where where to order. But then again, like I said before, the baristas are very helpful. The sculpture that we just took a video of is the original Starbucks logo. Oh, so here is the map of the reserve and. The menus. That's good to know. It's right in. It's at the counter. Is right when you walk in. It's right in front of you. To our right is the roastery, which we will be visiting、uh, later on. I must admit, it's pretty cool to have a coffee shop with the roastery in the back because you kind of get more in tune with the coffee making process, and plus, it just looks super cool, and it really feels like you're immersing yourself into Seattle's very heavy, very rich co coffee culture. By the way, expect to see a lot of tourists here, a lot of picture snapping, and people taking videos, like I am today. Oh, here's the line! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Finally, yay! We found the line. Now I can line up and get some food. Everybody's so busy at this bar. This is the main bar. The menu here is both extensive and delicious. We have some gourmet coffee. We have specialty coffee. Nitro mo mocha. What's that? Ooh, coffee and ice cream. Everything looks so delicious. This is probably my favorite part: the bakery. I'm pretty ten tempted to get these brioche. Oh, they look so plump and delicious, and especially with the cream pouring out on top. Mmm, these look really good as well. Oh, with the, with all these deliciousness, I don't know which ones to pick. Mmm, sandwiches look good too. Well, the scene here is inviting and vibrant, and it just feels really good to be here. Okay, I just placed my order: americano and brioche, and we are waiting for our food. This place is pretty busy, so let's see how long it takes. There are a lot of tourists here today. Summers are usually very busy travel seasons for in in Seattle. Right now, I am overlooking the other bar and restaurant side of the reserve, and to our right is the roastery part. Unfortunately, we're running out of time for today's visit. Okay, so I got my fancy coffee cup, and I'm walking back to work now. Okay, we're going to have to come back for another day to tour the actual、uh, roasting section of the reserve. So I brought the pastries home because we ran out of time today. Let's find out how they taste. Oh my gosh, these smell so good! The buttery aroma just shot out of the box. Here's a little bit of the cream inside. Oh my gosh, the cream is so delicious. Time for the knife. Let's cut it up and see what it's like inside. Oh, all that luscious cream and the pastry is buttery and flaky and mmm. Mmm. Tastes like heaven. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Now I can't wait to go back to the reserve again. Week two, we are back at the reserve.
this reserve has a unisex bathroom. But don't worry, each stall is its own private room with a door that closes completely. What's really cool is the two-way mirror here. On the other side, there's the roastery. Now we are back at the restaurant slash pizzeria of the reserve. That guy back there is working super hard. Look at those super cool ovens in the back. Thank you so much for your time at Explore Seattle so far. By the way, I'm sitting at the park and ride. Okay, we are going to have to break down the reserve visit into two parts. So the entire episode isn't super long. Thank you so much again and see you at part two. And if you haven't hit subscribe, please do so. See you next time.